Hello everyone and welcome to Advanced English Conversation. Let's begin with today's conversation. A handy person. Sally, unlike his dad who is all thumbs, Rob is a handy purse boy. He never throws away any second hand tool. For him, even the smallest screw can serve a purpose. Sarah, I wish I had a boy like Rob. It takes forever to get things fixed. Never mind the fact that I spend a fortune on repairs. Currently, my TV is on the blink. Sally, why don't you get a new one and serve yourself the trouble? Sarah, to say I've had enough of those broken stuff is an understatement. I've already ordered a new one. Sally, way to go. So here we have Sally and uh, Sarah discussing... Uh, broken stuff and people who are handy like unlike his dad who is all thumbs all thumbs mean a person who is not skillful a clumsy person a person who doesn't have practical skills to fix stuff Rob is a handy boy handy is the opposite of all thumbs handy means a skillful person a practical person a person who can manage to fix broken stuff he never throws away uh, any second-hand tool. Second-hand means used, not new. Like a second-hand car, a second-hand phone, which is used, not new one. Normally, it's cheaper than the new ones. For him, even the smallest screw can serve a purpose. A screw, actually, is this tool, um, which is used for repairs and stuff. Uh, the smallest screw can serve a purpose is important. It can be useful. Sarah, yeah, she says, I wish I had a boy like Rob because these days it takes forever, takes long time to fix something and you spend a fortune, you spend too much money on repairs. Uh, you know, if you buy something new, better than repairing other stuff because people will charge you overcharge you on repairs that's obvious currently she gives an example sarah that her tv is on the blink it is broken it is out of order not working sally well why don't you get a new one and save yourself that trouble don't you don't have to go all into all that through that trouble just save yourself the trouble and get a new one. It's cheaper, it's more efficient and effective for you. Sarah, oh, of course, I had enough of those broken stuff. She is fed up. And she, to say enough is understatement. Yeah, I'm, that's not an exaggeration. That's less what I'm actually going through. I've already ordered a new one. Sally, way to go. Way to go means... Excellent, well done. That's a good job. That's what you need to do. Let's take a look at the vocabulary. Uh, all thumbs, very awkward with your hands, clumsy. Handy, able to use something skillfully. Second hand, not new, having been used in the past. Serve a purpose to have a particular use or function in some way. Spend a fortune to spend a large amount of money on the blink of a machine not working properly or out of order spare yourself the trouble to avoid going through difficult experiences understatement the act or an instance of stating something in an restrained terms or as less than it is way to go well done good job what about you? Are you a handy person or a clumsy person? Please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and see you in another advanced conversation.